Hi, last few days have been so windy in London. Le tree leaves have been blown everywhere. So you can see even here in my background. So I thought that maybe I'll collect them and do some nice project with them. It's a very cool project for your science, biology lessons. Um, and that is called skeleton leaves. So I'm going to tell you how to do this. First, let's go and collect some leaves. So <clears throat> some leaves like these ones, they're strong ones, they're good. So we can try to take the pulps away from, take it off and leave these uh, structure, the vascular structure of the leaves remains. That's what we call it, a skeleton. So I'm gonna, I don't know which leaves works best. So I will collect some different types. So that's one of them. <clears throat> these are all dry one. I don't want a dry one. Ideally the green fresh ones. Well, not bad. No. I need to go and collect some from the trees, the fresh ones. Um, that probably, if I find a maple tree, those are gonna be the best one. Let's see that if I. Sorry. So I have collected different type of leaves, as you can see, strong one, delicate one, waxy one. Um, there are two ways, two techniques to make a skeleton leaves. One of them is a simple one, <clears throat> and I think that's the best one as well. You will leave uh, the leaves inside, soak them in the water, or leave them in a bucket or tray covering the leaves like this uh, for two to three weeks and the pulp will come off and you gently dry it and you will have the leaves um, but you have to be very careful the leaves going to be very delicate as you can see here it's teared i try to touch it but i shouldn't um, i have another one here this one i've added um, some bleach to the water you can see the leaves are gone white so cool right and the other technique which is quicker but i don't know if it works or not i will try it is to get some uh, washing soda you can see it's a bicarbonate of soda remember this is not a baking soda it's different um, the active ingredient here sodium bicarbonate let me teach you some chemistry but baking soda because it's been heated in a high temperature uh, it when, when it's done it loses its carbon dioxide and water and it turns into a washing soda this one so it's not the same thing these are so cheap you can find them in the laundry aisle in the supermarket so <clears throat> two three cups of water depends how many leaves you have and i'm gonna add some let's see one two three four spoon should be fine and you just Gently stir this. We're gonna boil this water and <clears throat> leaves going to be added inside. Let me just put different ones. Yeah. So these are our leaves. Just gonna go and boil this. Uh, when you boil it, you need to boil it between, well, some says 30 minutes is enough. Um, I doubt it. Well, we can try the after 30 minutes, I'll take one out and test it. But um, I think two hours needed to be boiled. Therefore, the water gonna evaporate, so keep adding water on a regular basis. Otherwise, you're gonna burn the leaves. As you can see, the very delicate leaves like these ones been in the water for a long time, so completely ruined. I can't even touch it. Uh, but the stronger leaves, like three weeks was good for them now i need to get a brush a very um, fine brush to slowly go over all the over the pulp and try to get them out and i will show you the results with the fine brush try to gently take the pulp out
you may use a toothbrush you have to be very careful it's very difficult to see if the pulp coming out because this one is white it is coming out you can see here but have to be very careful and do it gently the leaves are cooking inside the pan you can see the water is evaporated so if it goes down make sure you add some water to it make sure all the leaves are cooking all part of it don't worry about this white part on your pan you can easily wash them so it's just a washing soda so it's been 15 minutes so far I have to do it for longer two hours two hours look at this it took like herbal tea obviously not drinkable here are the leaves after rinsing them so I'm gonna brush them now and tell you which one or the best one if it works so firstly I can confirm that it works look and I only did one side of it so I just need to rinse it and do the other side uh, the other leaves so maple leaf works very well after two hours and boiling with washing soda and water the other one this one didn't do anything it's still like so thick it's like leather um, very strong probably I have to boil it in acid didn't work uh, this leaf is two of them this two uh, is so delicate to brush it and it can easily be teared so I think um, less time for delicate leaf like this one uh, this one was a bit waxy one so it peels off the skin I don't know how so I ignore this one it's not a good one either um, the small one didn't work either so maple leaf so far for this technique was the best one and I'm sure all of them if we leave them in water for two three weeks will work some of them may be longer but this is the beautiful one in conclusion the both technique works both of them as you can see this one was left in the water the other one we used washing soda <clears throat> the key to success is patience if you're patient especially with your brushing and the time you will have beautiful leaves like this I left this one between the books and dries flat the other one just left it out you can see is a bit more natural so yeah it works perfect See you in the next video. Bye.